everyone and welcome to this history video focusing on Henry VIII's religious changes after 1534. So the thing with Henry VIII is that towards the end of his reign he actually shifts back to Catholicism as if he regrets breaking from the church. So in 1536 the Act of Ten Articles was passed and this was a Protestant act that just sort of laid the groundwork for the Church of England. But in 1539, the Act of Six Articles basically undid this act and reconfirmed transubstantiation, confession, mass, all these Catholic practices. And transubstantiation is just the belief that bread and wine is the body and blood of Jesus. He also banned priests from marrying and no longer allowed laity, so common people, to have communion. So there's a real shift back to Catholicism. This all led to the inevitable fall of Thomas Cromwell in 1540. Cromwell was arrested for being a heretic as he was wanting a Protestant England, but by this point Henry wanted a return to Catholicism. He also fell from power because of the failure of the Cleves marriage in 1539. He arranged this marriage as they needed an alliance with the Protestant country of Germany. However, this was the marriage that failed because her portrait looked nothing like her and Henry just thought she was ugly when he met her. There was also a bit of factional politics at play. Many of the other nobles were jealous of how powerful Cromwell had been, and they also wanted to stop the religious changes, as at this point all of the Protestant reform was being pushed for by Cromwell, not Henry. This all meant that in 1540 Cromwell was executed, and he was actually executed on the same day that Henry married Catherine Howard, who was a big Catholic. 